it's important to understand that um, DigiParalyph Designer has a full data model in the background and um, to make this more visible let me show up the elevator hierarchy. Elevator hierarchy is uh, showing you the internal Lift Designer project file, the configuration and it it's almost similar to what you see in the model tree on the left side so you see we have a shaft object and under shaft we have a car object and if I select that I can see here in the properties, the car properties um, even if I choose here on the left side the frame, let's example as an example you see that the car frame is also selected here in the model uh, elevator hierarchy model and also the car frame properties are shown here on the right side in this property elevator properties list and but this this tree is more complete because it also shows how to say gray disabled objects inventory is optimized the model tree is optimized only to show the important uh, and um, active objects and you see the car frame is a sub object of the car that makes sense and uh, under the car frame as children you have two buffers so if I choose the car if I choose buffer 0 and I say okay I, my car frame uh, only needs one buffer you see what happens that um, the buffer 0 is still active and the other buffers are locked so in case I change the number of buffers uh, this changes here let's have a look at the buffer uh, buffer here in inventor and what we see here currently is that we have um, two buffers one and two buffers but since I disabled that um, I can now click on update all and you see what happens is that I have now one buffer here in the middle um, and the other buffer is um, disabled so lift designer takes care that in this model tree you only have the objects that are required um, Let's also have a look at this uh, bottom right uh, object here which we call quick link. It's a different view on the same data. Uh, the current selected object is the car frame, it's with the blue background. The objects in parallel in this data tree here which are parallel to the car frame are displayed blue here. The parent object is displayed red and the children of the car frame like buffer and guide rails are displayed as green items here. So usually this elevator hierarchy is not necessary to show up. If you are used to this data tree structure you can easily navigate here from the car frame um, to the different objects. Let's say to let's go back to the buffer. Now I am at uh, buffer 0. I don't see buffer 1 because this is disabled but if I change the number of buffers back to 2 you see I see here a 1 which means buffer 1 and if I update the model I'm back in my initial situation.